One of the biggest challenges facing mankind is getting clean drinking water for the seven billion people who populate this planet. You've heard the term fight fire with fire? Well, there's one young man who's figured out how to clean water with water. For some of us, access to clean drinking water is as easy as this. But for one in seven people on the planet, finding any water to drink requires a lot of effort and oftentimes arduous and even dangerous travel. So student Deshaun Henry and Professor Jim Jensen of the University at Buffalo in New York State have come up with a low-cost way to purify water that little by little could change lives. It utilizes basic materials such as wood, plastic, water, and sunlight. And it's called a water lens. Professor Jensen had been working on drinking water treatment issues for years. When Deshaun heard about this research, he made it his summer project. Professor Deshaun, welcome. Thank you, Mom. Thanks for having us, Mom. So what is the clean water lens? The water lens is really just a large magnifying glass. It gathers the sunlight and concentrates it into a focal point where we heat up the container of water. Just the way that you might use a magnifying glass to heat up a spot on a piece of paper. As you can see, pouring water onto the top of the plastic creates a type of lens. Then by placing a container of water beneath that lens, properly positioned to capture the angle of the sun, the water beneath the lens begins to heat. Well, the first time anybody thinks about uh, heating water to make it safe to drink, you always think about boiling the water, but that's absolutely not necessary at all. In fact, it takes a tremendous amount of energy to bring water to the boil and to keep it there. We typically make our water about 140 to 150 degrees Fahrenheit, and if you keep it there for about 30 minutes to about two hours or so, you should kill all the organisms that cause disease. Together, Deshaun and Professor Jensen learned that difficult problems don't necessarily need complicated solutions. So the approach we're trying to make is really to empower people, to give them very simple tools where they can use natural materials that are around their own location to treat that water for themselves. If this was able to influence the lives of people in many of the developing countries, that would make me feel joyful inside to know that I was able to help out people in need so that way they can be able to live longer, healthier lives. Thank you and good luck. Thank you. Thank you.